talk. Um, when I get back, I will talk about my top 10 Premier League players this season. But for now, we're on a nice walk. We're having a good time, isn't that right, Sim? Don't put me in the vlog. Um, but yeah, it's good. I'll talk to you when we get back. But just look at this view. So nice. Right, so we've been for a walk. We're back here. We've had some food. Now it's time to talk about the subject of this video. What the title is. This is why you clicked on the video. I did a video similar to this where I talked about my Premier League predictions at the start of the season. So far, it's looking good. I said Man City were going to absolutely hammer it this season. I said Arsenal and Tottenham weren't going to do so well this season. And out of the top six, them two are the worst. Before I go any further, I want to warn you that five of the ten are Man City players. And that's simply because they are so far ahead. They are gonna win the league they're smashing it 10th place we have Otamendi he's played every single game so far for Man City this season and he's been very rock solid they have the best defense in the league they're so far ahead and I know they've got a great attack but if you don't have a great defense they wouldn't be in first place by so far you cannot just think of Man City's attack you've got also got to think about the defense Benjamin Mendy's been great but he's been injured so he didn't make it but Otamendi he's played every single game number nine is Leroy Sané I've also got number eight as Sterling I put Sterling above him because he's actually got 12 goals and four assists and Leroy Sané's only got six goals and eight assists and for that reason I'm gonna have to put Sterling ahead of him. Both of these players have been very influential to the attack of Man City this season. Of course they're so far ahead. In 19 games Man City have got 55 points. We're halfway through the season and there's already a 13 point gap. In seventh place I put Cesar Azpilicueta. Now in a top 10 players in the league how many defenders would get in your side? Because most people just think about the attack. Now I'm thinking about the defence as well. I have Otamendi already in the top 10 and now I've got Azpilicueta. Now he has been very good in the Chelsea side. Now, Chelsea are third right now. They're doing quite well. In my opinion, Cesar Azpilicueta has been one of the best defenders in the last few years in the Premier League. It hurts me to say this as a uh, Bolton fan, but he is better than Cahill. Number six, Aguero. Now, you're probably thinking, how is he number six if he doesn't even get game time? Because the man is quality. He knows how to get the ball, get past a few players, and put that ball in the back of the net. And that's exactly what he does for City when he plays. Obviously, there's a lot of competition with Gabriel Jesus, but he's too young, and I really feel Gabriel Jesus in the future will be the best player in the Premier League. But right now, he doesn't make it to my top 10. He's been doing it for about seven years at Man City. The first season he came here, he won the league with them. He got the goal that won the league. He's been getting at least 20 goals each season. He's had 12 goals and four assists, which is class. And that's actually the third best in the league. Fifth place, we have Harry Kane, the Spurs English legend. He is such a goal scorer. He's done well this year. He has actually got 15 goals and one assist in 19 games, which is absolutely class. He's won the golden boot twice, and there's no reason why he can't win it again. There's times where he doesn't score, but then again, he goes out last week and gets a hat trick against a very well driven defence of Burnley. So he's clearly got class in him. He's really hard to play. I'd hate to be a centre back against Harry Kane. I think anyone would, and that's why he's fifth. Fourth, I have Hazard. Hazard's had five goals and two to assist quite injury prone but when he plays he's class I was actually at the game where he, Carabao Cup midweek um, a few days ago when they played Bournemouth he did a beautiful back heel to give to Morata to win them the game and the great thing is he does this week in week out it's why I love the man and that's why I played him at number four third place I have Mohamed Salah now you're probably thinking why is he so high up well I'll tell you why he's got 15 goals and three assists and the stats don't lie he's been amazing he's pretty much been getting a goal a game he's even gets a assist. Playing as a winger, he's still got 15 goals, which is, a, which is a top scorer, leading with Harry Kane, of course, but he's got more assists. So overall, he's got 18 goals and assists, which is the most in the Premier League. And he's come here in his first season in the Premier League come back. He sunk in so quickly and as a winger he's been doing amazing. He's been doing bits for Liverpool. Now we're going to move on to second place and that's Kevin De Bruyne. Now there isn't much I need to say about this guy. You know a lot about him. He's got six goals and eight assists this year so far but the great thing about him is he really does orchestrate that Manchester City attack. He plays the balls out. He gets them the goals. He sets up goals. He makes goals. He gets goals. He is blossoming under Pep Guardiola. He's doing amazing and that's why he gets the second place but that leaves me to first okay some of you may disagree with this i get it a lot okay he's a goalkeeper yes but he is david de gea the man is just on another planet honestly he is best keeper in the world in my opinion and this is why he's in first place in the premier league manchester united have only conceded 14 goals this season which is the second best defense in the league after man city but actually if you look at that united defense you know by he's been injured the players themselves aren't that good they played lindelof th last week who hasn't really sunk in yet the defense isn't looking that great but when you've got de gea between the sticks 
it looks a lot better. I really believe that Man United have the second best defence in the league, mainly because of De Gea. He's probably had the best year so far of his career, and he is really, really doing well under Jose Mourinho, and I really think he's only going to get better. David De Gea, you deserve my first place in this uh, top 10 players in the Premier League. Right, I've said my bit, now let's hear what you guys have to say. Leave in the comments your best 10 players, see how it's different to mine, let's start a discussion in the comments. Also, subscribers talk to other subscribers, let's really start, like a, like, like let's get everyone involved, you know what I mean? Let's see what we can do. Right, let's get down there right now, I'm, wait I'm waiting for you. Also, if you're asking why it's just randomly gone dark, well, yeah, that's because I've been editing the video, and because it took so long to edit, it's gone from light to dark in one clip, whatever. Right, let's carry on with the vlog. Derby County fans, I hope you're loving Bolton right now, because we've just got your club three points closer to Cardiff City. So, yeah. Be happy for us. The win yesterday has kept us, basically, everyone around us has took points today. Burton won, Sunderland, Birmingham played each other, and there was a draw. So everyone got points, but it gives us closer to this little mix. But it, very important three points. We'd be rock bottom if we didn't win that game. Right, lads, so the time right now is... 4.54 and I need to go and edit this vlog and I need to get it up for 7 p.m. I've only got two hours, okay? I just need to upload this vlog on the same day, so I'm gonna do just that, but that means I'm gonna have to end the vlog here, so thank you very much for watching another daily vlog. I've said what I needed to say. Let's see what you guys have to say in the comments. I'll be reading, I'll be replying, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.